Welcome to Behind the Spotlight. I am Crystal Lampett and I am very pleased to welcome a Lawrence based indie rock band. Westerners, thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. So, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so entitled. <laughs> we are going to kick it off with a song off of your upcoming album, right? Yes, and it's called Reoccurring Dream Theme. Reoccurring Dream Theme, and the name of the song is? I Wasn't In My Right Mind. Wasn't In My Right Mind. Take it away, guys. I wasn't In My Right Mind I couldn't eat, couldn't sleep the universe had drawn a line and said, you better choose a side. So I did. In My Right Mind by Westerners, which uh, I'm kind of curious, what's it about? Mitch, did you write it? I did. So I did write that. So you do most of the songwriting in the yes. band, correct? Yep. Tell us about Wasn't In My Right Mind. Wasn't In My Right Mind. Well. Clearly you were not in your yeah. right mind when you That's wrote it. It's just about yeah. you yeah. not being in your right it's mind. It's just about anymore. making decisions in life and how hard that can be sometimes, really. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. And you guys are from Lawrence. I know you've all kind of come from different parts mm -hmm. originally, but now you're in Lawrence. How did you all meet? He and I knew each other since like sixth, seventh grade. Like we went to school together down in southeast Missouri. That's okay. where we met. Mm -hmm. He finally followed me up to Kansas. I came up to Kansas in like, I don't know, I've 08, been something gosh, like that. Yeah, every four years. Me. But you've been following him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. He's my little trailer. I, like <laughs> I hook him on in the back and uh, <laughs> go places. I thought you were going to be like, oh, we had this like Zanga meetup group, uh, you no. know. No, I kind mean. of. Yeah. Craigslist dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. How about the other two? How did you guys sort of join, join the group? Well, I joined when you guys needed a guitar player. Um, mm -hmm. Pretty cut and dry. Pretty I standard, make, needed, yeah. you know, I audition process. I make records and we were doing a project with the Lawrence Public Library. Yep. And I was engineering the session where Westerners and another band friend of ours, Dean Monkey and the Dropouts, got together and they made a record and a song and, and uh, that's where I'm at. Yep. I heard lots of good things about him for a long time though. Oh, your oh, reputation sweet. preceded you. Oh, yes. That must He's feel good. He's got quite a reputation. <laughs> Apparently. How about, how about you, Gerardo? Um, I actually was playing with a couple different groups around this area um, last year, mm. and but I had seen them, and I remember seeing them the first time, and I told my girlfriend, I was like, I need to be in this you band. You were like, they're the one. Yeah, <laughs> so then, uh, well, I remember the seeing him telling Mitch, 
Gerard is the one. <laughs> as far as yeah, the relationship is concerned, it's not complicated for him. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's decided. Down. He's yeah. committed. He is he's got in that this. wedding ring. Yeah. Oh, I like it. That's the way to be. All right. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for being here. We'll be right back in a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. We're going to further explore this love story. No. It's not. No. Welcome back to Behind the Spotlight, hanging here with Westerners from Lawrence. So you guys kind of told me your little love story mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, <laughs> how has that developed? Where do you guys see yourselves in five years? Is it just blossoming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really polyamorous. <laughs> four of us. Uh, yeah, just Lord. It's fun. I have a lot of fun playing music with these guys, and it's never hard to get together and rehearse. Everyone's always on board to do stuff. It's super easy. Mm -hmm. I just, over the next five years, we'd like to play as many shows as we can. Take over really. the world. I mean, we've been doing it for the last, what, like three years or so? Take over. Three and a half years, maybe. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. we're kind of past the birthing stage and whatnot, but now we're kind of at that, like, you know, blossoming stage, you know. Five years from now, hopefully we're on a coast somewhere playing for a couple thousand people. Absolutely. We'll find mm -hmm. out. Selling out. Selling out a few concert venues. <laughs> yeah. No big yeah. deal. We'll find out. Um, <laughs> Mitch, I, I know that you started in music very early. I mm -hmm. think most of you probably did, but Mitch, mm -hmm. you, uh, you went on stage at age 15 mm -hmm. for one of your first shows knowing not very much. Yeah, and actually, I Josh was, really? he was at my yeah, first show. Oh, I got He was in attendance yeah. at my first show. So how did that go over? It was good. I remember was it? it. I remember it decently clearly. It, was, it wasn't bad. I think when they asked about it, I said, it went okay. Yeah, it, <laughs> was, it wasn't bad. You know. What did you do? I mean, did you literally go up on stage, like well, stage fright Well, what and happened all? was, and you, you know who the person is that asked me to play, but uh, somebody asked me to play if I had a band and wanted to play a show, and I told them yes, and I had I just started playing guitar months before. So mm. I agreed to play a show and didn't know how to play it instrument really he did that typical band. music industry thing where he agrees to something that he has absolutely yeah. no control over it's like when you lie and on then, your resume and you're yeah. like yeah I, i'm really skilled at yeah. all of these things and then you get the job and you're like <laughs> i have to learn this in three weeks pretty much exactly but you didn't fail you didn't fall no it was fun it was yeah. awkward and really see fun. i mean it could have been worse it because could been worse. you could have failed miserably and then never pursued music ever again yeah and yeah. But it worked out. Take more than that. Has there been, have there been um, struggles and failures along the way that you guys have had to overcome? Plenty. Always. Yeah. Plenty. Well, Always. tell us about them. I one time left my base in Joplin, Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> we played a show and we got wasted. And I left my base at the venue. And we get oh, over no. to Springfield the next day. We were playing a show. We're eating Chinese food. And I'm just like, <laughs> bling. I don't have my base. And we started freaking out and whatnot. We you started freaking so out. You I do? started freaking I just out. Started we were trying we to make him mad. <laughs> yeah, all of them were heckling me the whole time. I was so upset. <laughs> Goodness, I was so upset. But we went back and got it. It was all good. That's not just, so bad. Yeah, just one, one of the many. So many mishaps, things. lots of mishaps sure. like yeah, that that happened on down the road. Vehicles. Yeah, vehicles. We played uh, not too long ago. We went did a tour down south, and our van broke down in Norman. And he fixed it though. Mm -hmm. It's like mm -hmm. MacGyvered it. Josh and Gerardo. Some duct tape, yeah. elbow grease. Do we have special talents here? So obviously you're you're the Mr. Fixer. He's, ever. A, he's a mechanic. Uh -huh. yeah, a little mechanic. How about, how about anybody else? Yeah. Ob obviously you're very talented yeah. musicians, but when you're not performing, what are you doing? Hobbies. Watching TV. That's a, that's a pretty. <laughs> I'm really solid good hobby. at watching yeah, TV. You've developed I'm, oh, I'm great. that skill. I'm so yeah. good. It does take a lot of talent. Yeah. I'm I'm really into cars and technology. Nice. I use a phone and a car every day, so. <laughs> <laughs> Super into my passions. Gerardo just had a sweet little baby girl. Mm -hmm. He yeah. did. He's a proud you dad. Did? Yes. You're a dad. I am a dad. Congratulations. Dad. Yeah. Sport dad 22. Mm -hmm. That is exciting. He does yeah. come through with the dad jokes. Very heavy. That's great. Yeah. So you come up with some good dad jokes? Yeah. It's uh, it's usually I mean, pretty do you, spontaneous. Do you have one? I feel like we got No. I, I don't. <laughs> we need it. Come on. It just happens. It's, no, uh, you you yeah. can't put them on the it's spot natural. with that. Okay. It's like a bolt of lightning, you know. <laughs> the dad just, just comes out. Yeah, it's just like a bolt of lightning. So how does that work? Do you think that literally as soon as you became a dad, you were like, I just have this arsenal of cheesy, corny jokes that have just been dying to get out of me. 
Or have you always been just kind of a cheesy, corny guy? Yeah, before I even knew I was going to be a dad, everybody would always call me the dad. Mm -hmm. So you were already were yeah. kind of like the group dad. Is that still the dynamic? Is he the group dad? He's like my dad. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Your dad that, that wears the uh, the ugly, sh no, the yeah. pretty shoes. Yeah. He's an ugly girl in pretty shoes. Same, he is. very same. I mean, yes. just look at him. You can tell. <laughs> I mean, look at him. You do have pretty shoes. Those are decent shoes. Those are, Those are good yeah. shoes. Yeah. <laughs> pretty. So what would you guys tell... Um, other artists who are just getting started, you know, I'm sure there are a lot of kinks to work out early on in forming your band, forming your sound, um, creatively collaborating. What advice do you have for new artists and new bands? Practice a lot. Mm. Number one, number one, practice a lot. Yeah. Really though, yeah. Like how, often guys, how often yeah. do you guys practice? Every day. <laughs> Well, really? yeah, on our own. Well, we, oh, on our own. On your own yeah, every day. Every day. But yeah. as a band, we at least at least once a week, twice a week, even with shows. So we'll play, you know, if we play on a Friday and Saturday, we've still rehearsed once or twice in the week already. Yeah. Yeah. So essentially it's like, yeah, four rehearsals in a week. And, it's uh, like doing we used to do it even a lot more. When we yeah. first, the first couple of years, we would practice from Friday through Sunday night mm -hmm. every nice. week. Just wouldn't leave and practice. And just don't, not, not stopping, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's good advice. There are yeah. things that happen, like there are hardships and setbacks that come along when you're a band. And we've seen a lot of people just, you know, throw in the towel and give it up. Mm -hmm. But I mean, this is real life. You know, there's hardships and setbacks everywhere. You just got to keep going. You know, that's the only way you can do anything. Do you feel like that attitude has helped you in other areas of your life? Oh, yeah. Because mm. this, is a, this is sort of an interesting thing. I mean, um, especially in relationships, you know, you guys are essentially, you are in a kind of a relationship. Right, yeah. a band's yeah. a family. A band yeah. is a family. It's a family. And you just, you just learn to get over certain things, move forward. How do you deal with it when you do have disagreements or conflicts that you have to overcome? Talk a bunch of crap. Yeah. yeah. Just talk a bunch just of crap to each, each other. make fun of each other until we laugh. Say sorry later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> next no, practice we'll say sorry. We're not goes. getting out of this anytime soon. So yeah. No, no. Like, I don't think, I don't think any one of us would like stop playing music with each yeah. other because we piss the other one off or yeah. anything like that, so. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. enough brotherhood and sisterhood with playing music, I think, that brings people together, sort of runs deeper than any little petty thing that might come up, Right. I think. I think when yeah. you approach it like a family, you know, it's kind of that, yeah. that same thing. Like, you might hate your sister, but, you know, she's always going to be your sister, be your yeah. you know. Yeah. That's just the way it is. That's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty healthy attitude, mm -hmm. and it probably help a lot of people through their marriages and friendships mm -hmm. and things that they go through. I don't know, it could yeah. be, that kind of stubbornness could be pretty negative too. I could be. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, this just like isn't working out, guys. you're doing the wrong guys. thing for your whole <laughs> life. Yeah. You just don't yeah. try so, this over So there over is again. a limit there, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah. there are healthy limits and boundaries here. Yeah, um, sure. But that's interesting, you know, because it is, it is, you are a family, you're kind of like a brotherhood. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. Brotherhood um, of And not, well, and not everybody has that either. Bandmates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> we are all four. We we wear pants and we travel, so <laughs> it is a brotherhood of travel. There you go. God. Kind of. Good. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that was that should have come from you. I yeah. Feel like that was, yeah, a, dad, that was yeah. a dad joke waiting to happen. I told you, lightning bolts. They come. They come. I do want to get to the four favorites, so you guys know about our uh, four four favorite segments. Gonna start with you. Favorite book. Um, my favorite book. Come on, that, that my, His favorite book is the TV. <laughs> um, you know, I really like uh, the book about the little train that could. Aww, yeah. the little train that could. It's well, a classic. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Yeah. I think I can. Yeah. You're adorable. That, yeah. Well, especially because you're a dad now. You're really like <laughs> thinking of all children's books. Yeah, exactly. You're like, I haven't read a grown-up book in a while. <laughs> How about you? Uh... On a more serious note, mm -hmm. uh, probably the the stars my destination by Alfred Bester. It's a sci-fi book that came out in like '56 or something like that. Okay. Amazing sci-fi story. Really. Amazing. Yeah. Is it it's a based, short story. Is it based in, in reality at all, or is it just uh, like is it one of those books where you're like, oh, this could really happen? You know, yeah. like 1984. Yeah, okay. like in I a like future those. reality. Yeah. You know. I like that. Okay. Next book. Uh, Everything is illuminated by Jonathan Safran Foer. That's a good one. Um, that'd probably I'm be my favorite actual book. favorite book. <laughs> <laughs> I've not read it. Non-children's. Non-fiction? Uh, 
Fiction. Fiction. Okay. Oh, it was a movie with Elijah Wood. Mm -hmm. that came oh, out a couple okay, well, I'm just going to watch the movie. He's gorgeous. <laughs> it's not as good He's as the book. Though. The book he is, is gorgeous. <laughs> the book is hilarious. Like, it's serious, but it's hilarious. Yeah. Like, I dare you to open to any page and, like, not laugh and not at laugh. some point. I'll take you up on that, Dare. Yeah. That's a good one. How about you, Sam Mitch? Davis, Jr., Jr. Um, it's been quite some time, and I can't remember the, <clears throat> the name of the guy who wrote it. It's Jean, Jean something. It's French. But it's called The Diving Bell and the Butterfly. Okay. It's a really good book. I really enjoy it. Um, we got to move on to favorite mm, movie. Mm. Favorite movie. Who's got one? Wayne's World 1 and 2. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Man. My favorite movie is Love and Sure by Michelangelo and Tony Oni, which I know mm. sounds so pretentious. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> really? Wow. Criteria on collection. So fast. I'm not judging. Yeah. I'm interested. I'm going to talk to you about that okay. after. How about you? Hi. <laughs> I, like I honestly things. don't. I've, I've seen a lot of movies. I don't know. You're a movie guy. Yeah. How did you? I, I'll just I'll just pull one out of the ether though. There's this one, this movie. Uh, the dudes who made South Park uh, when they were in college, yeah. they had some like oh. like film class. I know what you're talking Cannibal, about. Cannibal the musical. Yeah. They made. Cannibal the yep. musical. It's, it's I so haven't stupid. seen it, but I have heard of it. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> He's walking and he trips on something. He's like, oh, spadoinkle. <laughs> it's like cowbell solo. Uh, I've, seen, yeah. I've seen clips of that. It's good. It's supposed to be really funny. No, it's good. How about you, Gerardo? Um, my favorite movie is probably Inception. Nice. I really like Leonardo DiCaprio. So. He's, he's gorgeous. Can't sexy go wrong man. with Leo. He's so dreamy. Yeah, yeah he is. <laughs> yeah, and just Gordon Levitt. The dreamy over <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. and just quickly, favorite artists. Yeah. I know this is a tough one, but music artists, if you had to pick one. Oh, music artists. Good. Mm -hmm. My favorite band is Dr. Dog. Dr. Dog? Dr. Doggy. Dr. Doggy. Yeah. Dr. Doggy. Is that a real band? It is a real band. Okay, they're, I believe they're you. They're good. You should look them up. They're, they're good. I love so much music, but when somebody asks me that question, I always just say that because it's... It's like your go-to. Yeah, it's yeah. like, I love Dr. Dog. Okay, next. Uh, Radiohead, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dirty solid. Projectors, mm -hmm. two. Or Dylan. Mm -hmm. okay. Bob Dylan. Sorry, that's the mm -hmm. answer. Bob Dylan. Next. Hi. I have no idea, honestly. Hey, uh, I'll, I'll just put it in a, in a little section. Uh, hip hop from 1990 to <laughs> nice. 2000 in You're New York. You're a genre, that's cheating. But, I'm sorry, uh, I can't. Let it slide because we're running out of I time. I can't name anybody. How about you, Gerardo? Uh, I really like Donald Glover, uh, Childish Gambino, and everything he does is like He's genius. Um, and then what was the other one? Probably John Mayer. So. John Mayer is pretty solid. Mm -hmm. Okay, and last but not least, we've got, a, okay, we don't have time to get to your favorite band story. We'll have to explore it another time. Awesome. But it's thank you guys for, for coming in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We do have one more song, okay. so we'll let you guys get to that. Don't go anywhere. What Welcome back to Behind the Spotlight. We've been hanging out with Westerners, and you guys have a lot of exciting stuff coming up. First of all, a uh, new album, mm -hmm. which is amazing. But the last song that we have for you is called Running Hiding, and where can people find it? Running Hiding won't be on our upcoming album, but it will possibly be on EP in the near future. Oh. So it's kind of, we just play it live right now. Nice. Yeah, it's just a live song. And how song. about the rest of, the, of your music? Um, go Social on Bandcamp. Band we have camp. our material on Bandcamp, Westerners Band, bandcamp.com, or The Record Machine. You can go to their website as well and find what we have. Um, there's not a whole lot up until the album comes out, which is going to be very soon. Awesome. And then there's going to be a lot of songs. We have, a, we have a Zanga with a bunch of Coldplay You have a Zanga? Yeah. How yeah. about a MySpace? Uh, no, just Zanga. No, it's not, no. Not yet. Just Zanga. You are true old school. <laughs> yeah. And it's all Zanga. Coldplay covers, too. So if you need Coldplay covers, we got awesome. you. Awesome. I think I still have an old Zanga account. Not gonna, <laughs> I, need to, I need to like find that and delete it. <laughs> all right. Well, this is Westerners with Running Hiding. Take it away, guys.
second I swear to God I disappear I tell a joke, you listen and lie Out of my blow smoke ring you lay in the back I love you forever if you love me back But I keep running, hiding, twisting the road while it's dark. Oh, long, needed, guessing, hoping that I can carry on. Running, hiding, twisting the road while it's dark. Oh, long, needed, guessing. That I